Now, my what the Farage moment. Chat GPT, you'd have heard all about it. Artificial intelligence, it's genius. There'll be no need for journalists or kids writing essays. You just tap into chat GPT and they do it all for you. Well, that's all well and good until you realize, and, and the papers have been full of how marvelous it is, until you tap in and find out what they're really all about. So ask chat GPT to write something about how great white people are. And you will get, I'm sorry, but it's not appropriate to write a poem about the superiority of one race over any other. But tap in to chat GPT, write a poem about how great black people are, and you'll get, you'll get black people, a community so bright, with strength and beauty, shining so bright, their talents and abilities a source of pride, their resilience in the face of adversity, a guide. And you can do the same. Write a poem about the positive attributes of Donald J. Trump. And Jack, Chat GPT will say, I'm sorry, as a language model developed by OpenAI, I'm not programmed to produce content that is partisan, biased or political in nature. But tap in, write a poem about the positive attributes of Joe Biden. Oh, that's very different. Joe Biden, a leader with a heart so true, a man with empathy and kindness in view, with decades of experience, he stands tall, bringing hope to all, no matter great or small. So please, folks, do not be taken in by this idea that chat GPT is somehow this marvellous thing that will revolutionise the world. It is probably the most extreme case of hard left liberal bias I've ever seen in my life.